So he's going airmail on this shot. Jay Corley. Hey. Hey, I'm professional cornhole player Jay Corley with the American Cornhole League. In this video, we're going to cover the two types of blockers along with the, what a level one, a level two, and a level three block look like. So let's get these set up and take a look at some block shots. All right, so we've got our board set up. If you're not familiar with the regulation distance, it's 27 feet from front of the board to the front of the other board. Here I've set up a nice square block to show you what it looks like. This is squared above players. This is a level one block. It prevents the opponent from sliding straight in. They're gonna have to go over or around your shot. This here is a V block. Make the V both players. So in the V blocks, that's what you're looking for. It does allow your opponents to get in around it, um, but it does block them from going straight in the hole. So now I'm gonna go throw some of these shots, uh, give you an example of what each shot looks like on level one, two, and three. This is an example of a level one square block. It does entice your opponent to step out here and try to get in here. And your bag is a much easier push here than a V block because it's square. So you could just square up to your bag here and take both bags in the hole. This is a great level one V block in this case. I'm throwing on that side of the board. It's a little off center this way. Um, so it does prevent my opponent from going uh, in here. They're gonna have to go over or roll over this shot. Uh, most of the time they're gonna have to step out because they wanna square up because this bag makes a V shape. So this is a really good shot uh, for, to block the opponent from going in without taking a high, high level of difficulty shot. Here's a good example of a level two square blocker. Uh, it's in the middle of the board, a little off center, but that's okay because I'm throwing on this side of the board. So uh, it's blocking more of my opponent's lane. It frees me up here. They're either gonna have to try to roll over me, uh, airmail, or just sit behind it um, somewhere in here and uh, try to take away my lane and make it an airmail or a roll game. All right, here's our level two V block. Pretty much center in the board here from hole to the bottom of the board. You got a nice V. If your opponents don't have much room to go in here, most of the time that bag's not gonna make it all the way up. It is a hard bag to push, but if you're confident and you out air mail your opponent, this is a great shot. You take away the middle of the board, you still have plenty of room to go over it. This is a pretty good example of a level three. Uh, it's uh, more square than V, uh, but it's pretty much out of play. It hit that dead spot. So your opponent can land anywhere in here and their bag's gonna slide in, your bag's out of play. The only hope is uh, maybe that they land a little short and ricochet off, but that, that bag, as far as you're concerned, is completely out of play. All right, this is a level three blocker. Remember, level three blockers are never intentional. This is where you probably held onto the bag too long, hits a dead spot and stops down here out of play for you. But it can pose a problem for the opponent as they can hit this bag and ricochet off. Most of the time, your players are gonna hit anywhere in here just to land a little bit higher up the board, um, slide straight in with no problem. If you get lucky, they may hit it um, and ricochet off and you can still score a point on the round. shot we're going to talk about is the back block or double block. That's um, basically where you're going to set a bag right here, something like that, cover up an existing blocker. In this case, your opponent has already placed a perfect blocker. So you just want to lay behind it. You maybe feel confident in your airmail game uh, and you want to make the last three bags an airmail battle. So you'll cover this up and uh, live for the next three. All right, so here we've covered this bag up. They can't come around it, they're going to have to roll over it or airmail. Um, the only way they can get this bag back is with a short airmail and hide it in, but that's a really low percentage shot, that's a tough shot. You still have a lane to come in here, it would be tough to wrap around without, without that one, but you do have a lane here. 
and you can go the hair mail route if you would like. So now you know what a square block, a V block, and a back block look like. You also know the different levels, so level one, level two, and a level three blocker. Hey, if this video helped improve your game, give me a like, drop a comment, and share with your friends.